Blizzard, Blizzard of the Month. Huh. Apparently they brought this one back, the Red Velvet Cake. I haven't had it yet, guys. Local John 1812, back with yet another food review. We're at Dairy Queen, we're about to get this Red Velvet Cake. Let me order it. All right, guys, there it is right there, the Red Velvet Cake Blizzard here at Dairy Queen. They brought it back. Uh, that I'm assuming they bring it back probably around this time of the year because of Valentine's Day is coming up in February. And you can pinker see- pinker in person. It doesn't yeah. look very pink on the screen, just so you And you so can you see know. some of the velvet pieces in there. There's a piece right there. Big piece right there. So uh, the medium, uh, the small was like $349, the medium's $399. So three, $345 or $399. I just went with the medium. Probably don't need all of this, but uh, I do enjoy red velvet, uh, red velvet cake. Camera mom hates red velvet cake. People try to say it tastes like chocolate. I don't taste chocolate in it. She said something about and texture too. No. I thought you said it, was taste, it felt no. weird. All right, let me, no, it's just regular velvet. It's not the cake. That you don't like. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Let's let's try this red velvet oh, cake. Oh yeah, I don't like the material velvet. Right, right. Let's try this right Can't here. Stand it. From Dairy Queen. Here we go. It does. To me, red velvet does have a chocolatey taste to it, but. It also has more of a buttery flavor. It's like if you would melt butter and chocolate together and then kind of like freeze it and then unthaw it to where it got to a soft point like cookie dough and ate it. That's what it tastes like to me. It's really good. Lil John got his Choco Brownie Extreme Blizzard, mm -hmm. like he always gets, and I got chocolate soft serve. Ooh, it's so bright. Most of you guys are probably... It's not even... <laughs> Most of you guys have probably had the Red Velvet uh, Cake Blizzard, uh, but I had to get it because I haven't had it yet, and they said it's something they brought back, and I assumed for Valentine's Day, and if I haven't done something yet may not be new to you, but it's new to me, so. But if you haven't had this, and you like red velvet, maybe this is something you definitely should try. If you're kind of cautious on red velvet, maybe you don't like it, maybe it's not, maybe, maybe you like it, but you don't go out seeking for it, I would still give this a try. The, the velvet pieces are pretty big, some of them are like that one. So you get these chunks of them in your mouth when you're eating them. It almost sometimes tastes like, now I get almost like a brownie taste, you know? That's where people say it, they told camera mom it tastes like chocolate and she didn't believe them. It does. I don't know why she don't think so. I don't know. And my thing is, is if I want chocolate, I'll get chocolate. That's true. Well. <laughs> but I definitely would buy this again. No hesitation, especially during the month of uh, February for Valentine's. Keeps the uh, festive move going. Now we know it's not Valentine's Day yet. We still got what? Pretty well, good. First, we gotta get through to, my birthday. Yeah, you gotta get to Cameron's birthday, which is on Sunday, and that'd be the end of January. But why not try the red velvet early, right? Why not have a little love early, right, Cameron? Mom? Yeah, wipe your lip off. <laughs> <laughs> so, go out and try this. Maybe get it for Valentine's Day for one of your significant others or something. One of them? <laughs> that sounds bad. Well, you know, one. One of you guys go out and get it for whoever you have. A friend. Spouse. Whatever. Eat one together. Because they're good. It's worth the buy. I would do it again. I like these. So. Wow, guys. Once again, the red velvet cake here at Dairy Queen. They brought it back. It's good. It's for the month of February, Valentine's Day. But before that, you can try it early in January. So, definitely give it a try. 
I would buy this again, and Camper Mom's phone is do 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 do. Oh multiple, my gosh, it's going nuts! Multiple messages. Somebody else wants a red velvet cake blizzard here at Dairy Queen, probably. I don't know. So that is all I have for you this Friday evening. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and I will be back on Saturday, possibly with a retro bow, with a surprising message for you guys on that. And uh, tune in for that. Hit the little bell so you get notified. I should do it Saturday. If I don't, forgive me. But I'll be back with Retro Bow, and I have a surprise message for that. So everybody who watches my Retro Bow, make sure you hit the bell. So until then, guys, happy eating and be safe. Later, everyone. Bye.